Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Polish Thestral and I'm going to use Maniology Plate BM316. I started off with a peel off base coat and here is a Thestral from Polish. Beautiful, blue, shimmery, mmm, Polish. <laughs> and here we go with our first coat. This is just so easy to work with. This polish is almost putting its cell phone. Did, I did manage to make a little bit of a mess, but it, it's okay. Capping my free edge. And depending on how long your nails are, you might could get away with one coat. I'm going to go ahead and do two. <laughs> Hi, Woody. How you doing? So here we go with that second coat. And this is going to wrap this one up really well. It's going to be all the coats we need. Nice beautiful blue polish. Woody's back. And look how pretty this is. Just it's got so much like silver mm, in it. So I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Smooth it all out. Seal it in. Get it to dry so we can do some playing. So once again I'm using the Surfer Salve from um, Maniology and um, I'm using it as my cuticle barrier and on this video you get to see why it's not my favorite. I've got my Beauty Scraper and my Maniology Monocle Stamper and BM316. I'll be using Nicole Diaries NSO4 today, the silver. And I like this plate because it's got the same image but one's like well this one's going to show lots of the polish underneath and then the opposite image you know pretty much covers up all the polish but it lets you see little peekaboos of the base color. Now see it's all sticky. My stamper is sticky. So I'm going to use some 91% alcohol. I'm going to spray it and wipe it with a lint free wipe um, and clean it off. And uh, note to self we won't be doing this again. I am also still going to clean it over on my stamper and continue on. If I was smart, I might would have gone and just washed my hands and got that all off and, you know, but I didn't. <laughs> I really love how there's, this is, oh, and I'm having to do some, like, stamping surgery here. And that might have something to do with, you know, the stamper not, you know, getting totally clean. <clears throat> what are you going to do? So I am going to go in and do this on the pinky nail and see it's not showing up on the top which I end up kind of painting in part of that image on the top and it looks fat and we're not doing that again. It's just a mess. So here's the like solid, more solid image. And once again you're going to get to see why the Surfer Salve did not work for me. Look at that. Oh no. Not going to work. But this is how I'm going to fix it. I'm going to take a lint-free white and some non-acetone nail polish remover. And with like little quick wispy brushes, I'm going to just brush that off real quick. And I can do this because I have a very nice top coat on underneath protecting the polish. So here we go. We're going to do this again. It's just the struggle is real, my friends. Sometimes we have issues. So here we go. We're going to try this again. And ta-da! This time it totally worked. Yay! So I'm going to top it with the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. This will probably be the last Manny you get to see this in. I think I'm going to open up my new Smudge Free Top Coat. And get my thoughts on that. And you can see how sticky this one's getting. It's kind of getting stringy when I brush it. Maybe you get to see it on this, this part. It just is getting close to the bottom and it's just getting yucky and I'm done. Yeah, there we go. Stringiness. So I'm going to go in with Posh and do my final top coat. You can see over on the pinky nail where I had to doctor the image. Um, I got my little line just as fat as can be, but I wasn't going to redo it. So it is what it is. Lesson learned. 
but overall I really like this manicure. I like that um, line design and I love that you know most of the nails show a lot of that base color but I really do I do like it. I like I like that fingernail too. It almost looks like chrome. But it's just silver. So there we go, cap in the free edge. I do have a swatch photo coming up here real soon. I would love to hear from you, hear what you think about this one. So leave me a comment. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.